So while I was on my sabbatical of making videos for my YouTube channel, there was a pretty significant update when it comes to Facebook ads targeting. And it's definitely something that you should be aware of. So that's exactly what I'm going to go over today. What's up everybody, Alvaro here from Alvaro Barrios Digital. And guess what? There's been another major update to Facebook ads targeting that has happened recently. So the last update I made, which you can check out right here, talked about the fact that uh, the location targeting has been changed and that will impact certain businesses, particularly local businesses. So if you've not had a chance to take a look at that, definitely check it out. This update actually impacts everyone. So what exactly has happened? Well, they are bringing back detailed targeting expansion, although this time they are calling it Advantage Targeting Expansion Plus. It's part of the whole new naming convention of having Advantage as part of everything, right? CBO, Campaign Budget Optimization is now Advantage Budget Optimization, and then all placements are now Advantage Plus placements. For, so, for some reason, they want this word Advantage to be everywhere. And so now they're bringing back what used to exist as detailed targeting expansion, they took it away, and now they're bringing it back as advantage targeting expansion plus i know yeah you have to say that very uh, slowly otherwise you can stumble upon your words so if you're not familiar with what this is let me go ahead and share my screen and i will walk you through what this is and how it impacts your campaigns okay so here we are inside of an ad account and you may have seen this notification already when you go to your targeting options um here it says we may deliver ads beyond your audiences if your selected objective um if it's likely to improve performance if you click on the learn more button then it gives you all these notes so advantage detail targeting there we go so meta advantage detail targeting formerly known as detail targeting expansion can help improve your campaign performance by allowing our system to reach a broader group of people than you defined in your detail targeting sections you can use this option when you want us to show your ad to additional people who think we could get more or cheaper results or both against your optimization goals our system implements advantage detail targeting when it determines that doing so could improve your performance so basically what does that mean is that it's going to take a look at all of your targeting options here, right? So here it's ages 28 to 60 uh, women, and then these targeting options right here. And it's going to treat everything more as a suggestion rather a hard, than, a, than a hard and fast rule, right? So it might target someone who's 27. It might target someone who is 51. Um, it might target someone who's a journalist rather than a novelist, um, and so on and so forth. So let's keep on reading a little bit more about the advantage detail um, targeting. It says, Advantage detail targeting is automatically enabled for new duplicated and draft campaigns when using some objectives. So the key part there is some objectives. Um, and so here I am using the leads objective, but I'm using website leads. And so there is no checkbox right here for me to select or deselect. However, if I come over here in this example here, I am still using the leads objective, but it's the instant forms variation. And so if I scroll back down, then I see that this is auto selected right here advantage detail targeting plus uh, and so I can either check this or uncheck this so for example if I am targeting people who enjoy whiskey I can go ahead and select that if I have advantage detail targeting plus enabled then guess what it's actually probably gonna go after people who like other types of liquors right maybe tequila fans maybe mezcal fans maybe uh, vodka fans and stuff like that it's not going to strictly target people who like whiskey if I remove it though then it will be a hard and fast rule where it's only going to target people who like whiskey so a couple of different scenarios where this could be useful one it could be useful when you are are looking to expand your audiences um, so if you do select this right here your audience will be bigger so we just see that happen right now if I'm just targeting people who are fans of whiskey the audience size right here is 33 million almost 30, uh, 34 million to basically 40 million right there but you'll see here if I automatically select right this right here, then it blows the audience up to 230 million to 269 million, right? Because now it's gonna bring in everyone else who potentially likes other types of liquors. Maybe it's even gonna bring in people who are more so fans of things like wine and beer, you know, the quote unquote softer alcoholic drinks and stuff like that. And so it is a good way to expand audiences. If you're having trouble of who to target next and your current audience is burning out, well, guess what? You can just come here and select detailed targeting plus. Now. Um, 
um, it doesn't mean automatically that this is going to work out well for you. So if you have a tried and true campaign, I would run a test, right? You have a campaign going to your tried and true audience, not using advantage detail targeting plus. Uh, and then you have another one where it is targeting this audience. And then you just see which one works out better for you. There's never a guarantee that some of these settings that Facebook wants you to use are actually going to work in your benefit. Always test because that has the most uh, important thing. The other situation in which this might be good for you to target is that let's say that you don't actually find the actual targeting option you want to go for. So if we go and type in, let me see here, Tony Robbins. I don't believe Tony Robbins is a targeting option anymore. Yes, as you can see, he is not a targeting option at this moment. He used to be, right? Um, but let's just say I really want to target Tony Robbins. He's not an available targeting option, and I don't know what to do, right? I Because I really wish I could target um, his fans. Well, what I can do is I can target pe people who are fans of Brendan Bouchard, just like this. He also is a personal development expert, and he also has you know almost the same exact type of audience as Tony Robbins. So if I'm targeting Brendan Bouchard and I click on advantage detail targeting plus well then there's a very good probability that I am going to get in front of Tony Robbins fans even though I can't select Tony Robbins as a targeting option potentially expanding this out beyond the strict rules that I have here will allow me to get in front of those types of fans so those are the scenarios in which this can be useful remember it is only available for certain objectives it's not available for all of them and if you don't see this in your account yet don't worry it's it is slowly rolling out, but I just wanted to make sure you were all aware of it. All right, so there you have it. Hopefully you found this information to be helpful. And by the way, before you move on, I do have a free training that you can find in the link below that goes over the top reasons why your Facebook ads campaigns are not working. So if you are in that exact same scenario, definitely check it out below. It's only 25 minutes long, so it won't take you long to get through, but you get a lot of value out of it. So that's all I got for you today. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comments and I will see you next time.